to my channel. I know, oh my gosh, I look completely different. I know, I stepped out of my comfort zone for today's video and I am so excited to show you how I got this look. Um, but before we jump into the tutorial, I know it's been a hot minute since I've been um, on my channel and I am so sorry for the absence, but it's been a crazy couple of weeks and no excuses, but um, we've been busy with wedding planning and work has been busy for both Ryan and I, and it's been kind of hard for me to film, but I am back and I will have videos up for you twice a week. And yeah, so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here, just keep on watching things first is we are going to prime the eye and as always Perfect. you would think by now I would have my shit together but apparently I don't so as always I am using my photo focus eyeshadow primer by wet n wild so I'm just going to take a actually that was too much but I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just wipe this all over the lid. So we are using the Morphe 35T palette and it's this baby right here. Let me open it up and show you. It's this one right here. It is a cool tone palette. It has a lot of nice taupey shades in it, a lot of nice shimmer. I'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone here. I don't usually work with a lot of cooler tone eyeshadows just because I don't think they look that good on me but here and trying to do different looks for you guys just so it's not it doesn't look like it's the same thing over and over again so to start I am going in with my Sigma E40 brush and I'm taking this color up here just gonna go in and use this as our transition shade now we are doing a halo look and or a spotlight eye whatever you want to call it and I love these kinds of looks just building up that transition shade I'm putting the color on the very outer corner and dragging it up into the crease And then we're going to do the same thing on the inner corner and we are just going to place the same color there. Kind of going back and forth, back and forth. And then when I have the least amount of product on my brush, I'm going to drag it into the middle. We really want to keep the center of the eye open so we can put a nice pretty glittery color there. I'm going back into the palette, placing the color on the very outer corner and dragging it up into the crease. Just, I'm gonna put some scotch tape down to kind of use as a guide. And I'm just taking the stickiness off and I'm just going to place the tape and it's gonna follow my lower lash line and it's going to allow us to be as messy as we want on this outer corner so when we take this off it's gonna look nice and sharp so again just using circular motions and just really building this transition color up The next color that we're using is, again, from the Morphe 35T palette. It's gonna say it's a dark purple maroon color. And we are going to take a smaller brush. This is the Zoeva 231 um, Luxe Petite Crease Brush. We're going to focus this color on the very outside corner of the eye and on the very inner corner. I'm gonna start down by the lash line small light circular motions and just building that color up on the outer corner and 
and when I have the least amount of product left on the brush I'm just going to drag whatever's left into the center of the crease Okay, now it's time for the fun part. Um, the first one is the um, Shadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's the color Metal, and it's just a beautiful, sparkly, silver color. So I'm going to use my Zoeva 234 Lux Smoky Brush. Um, swipe the brush into that eyeshadow and pick up a good amount of product. And I've actually run out of Fix Plus and I'm pissed because it's perfect to foil a shadow. But if you don't have Fix Plus, a really good tip and um, a little trick that I've learned is you can use eye drops. And these are just regular old CVS eye drops that I had in my drawer. And I'm going to just put a couple, just one drop one small drop. It's going to place the shadow in the center of the eyelid where we've kept it completely bare. And I'm just going to place that shadow there. And we are going to pick up just a little bit more and maybe just do one more drop. And now because I am extra, I am going to use my Touch and Soul Metallist Glitter in the color Talia. And it has like a really pretty um, champagne sh um, liquid shadow on this side. And then it also has a pretty silver sparkle on this side. We're not gonna use this um, today because we've already placed a shadow on our eye, but we are going to use the glitter side. And what I'm going to do is, because I'm not a huge fan of the applicator, it's just like a plastic, weird applicator. I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, detailer brush. And I'm just going to t pick up some of that glitter off of the applicator. And I'm just going to pat that onto the eye. We are going to intensify the look a little bit and I'm going to add some black to this eye look. Um, we are going to be super careful and we're going to start with just a little bit of black. And I'm going to tap my brush in there like so, pick up just a tiny bit and we are going to place this on the very outside corner of the eye and we're going to blend up. And again, we're just starting with a little bit and we'll add more as we go. That's it, that's it for the top part of the eye. And I am going to take this off and show you. We are going to finish up the face and go back to the eyes to finish the look. We're going to finish up the eyes. You start by using that same dark purple color from the Morphe 35T palette.
are going to line the lash line and also tight line with the L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner. And I'm really going to get it into the lash line as well, just so we can smudge it out with a with that black that we used on the lid. I'm going to finish up this look with the lips and for today we are going to use a new lip color for me and this is the NYX Liquid Suede in the color Brooklyn Thorn. I'm going to start off by lining my lips with the NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. And then I am going to apply the lip color. Okay guys, so that is the final look. But again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that, it'll help me out so, so much. And, and until next time guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.